Well, you know, a couple of thoughts on technology. One is that, um, you know, years ago I wrote a book called The Leader of the Future, where we interviewed young high potential leaders and asked them what are the qualities for the leader of the future that were different than the past. One of them was global thinking, which really leadership used to be domestic, local. Now it's much more global. Two, cross-cultural appreciation. And then three was, um, you know, building alliances and partnerships. Uh, another one was shared leadership. But the other one that's in there is called technological savvy. Yeah. And even when we wrote that book, it was obvious that leaders, they don't have to be, as you said, technologists. On the other hand, they need to understand technology and how technology is going to influence their world. If they don't understand technology and how technology is going to influence their world, mm -hmm. they're making a big mistake. And I can speak to that myself. I'm working on new technology. I have a project right now, MarshallBot. Uh, my friends over at Fractal Analytics, a very large AI company, about eight engineers working on this project. And uh, in fact, yesterday I spent about nine hours asking questions to MarshallBot and editing the answers. So basically it's a very fascinating project and it's a legacy project for me. I give away everything anyway. So yep. it is to share everything I know with my computer bot. And then eventually you could ask it pretty much any question you could ask me and it'll give you an answer. That's fan That's a fantastic thing you're doing. And I think that's a, a state of the art uh, way to essentially pay it forward. Because what you're doing is you're not only sharing your knowledge today through everything that you're doing, but basically this, this legacy project that you talked about that you're continuing to train this bot. If we can have this bot, um, share the knowledge and make make himself available to us at all times across all devices multi-channel that would be truly like marshall 24 7 across the globe <laughs> of having that power of knowledge dissemination it's so powerful and it's a beautiful beautiful initiative which i really am glad is happening as we speak yeah and it's interesting it's been a fascinating experience because marshall bought is not intended to give some quote right answer. It's intended to give the answer I would give. Mm -hmm. So it's much more personal. So I've been training it to think sort of like me. And it's amazing. I would say right now I'm on Marshall, but generation three. three. Yeah. Right now it's answers about half the time. I would say I would say are better than my answers, or at least better than I could provide in a short period of time like that, and more very articulate, and that's as judged by me. Wow, that's brilliant. I'm teaching, I'm teaching it, yet it puts together things that I've done in a way better than I could often. Fascinating. That's fascinating to hear. By the way, this is generation three. This is not generation twenty-two. Yeah. Yes. Right. We once, I mean, if you think about it, the pace uh, at which it is adopting both the knowledge from you and also all the body of work that you've put together in your decades of experience, I think it's going to be phenomenal because um, if we, if this is coming from you, this is the biggest stamp of quality. If you think the bot, bot is answering better than you, I think this is the biggest stamp of approval one could get for that technology. And so I'm, I'm really amazed and I'm looking forward to interacting more with the bot. Um, yeah. going, for, going forward and, and you know this this reminds me of you know how purpose driven you are even today